Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel, White Ravens Creatives on Vancouver Island, the home of the White Raven. So um, I have a little book here. This is version two of a little book that I made a while back and um, I shared a video of that and when I was going through I just got inspired to um, add more to the blank pages um, like I had suggested and um, decided I would do that myself and uh, now I want to show you what I've what I've made all right so hold tight um so um yeah hold on tight because here we go now this little booklet is a um a book that is about hmm, seven and a half by hmm, just about five and a half um and it is constructed with um, a couple of envelopes on the outside and made it with one envelope to start with. And then I added another envelope on top. So part of the original binding is hidden um, underneath the, the covering envelope. So um, you can sort of see it there. And then it is just a string binding that has gone through uh, punched holes in all of the signatures. and. Uh, added a bit there so anyway we'll probably get too much into the construction but uh just thought i better add that part um so this little booklet like i said was a um a color experiment um in color harmony when i made this little book long time ago um and um so i, I have added to it so now it's kind of got it's kind of got the midas touch um yeah so um, it opens um, this way. There is a little um, vertical rope that has been attached between the two envelopes at the back and just comes and wraps around and goes to the front. So hopefully I'm going to stay in frame. Um, I realize that the camera actually shows different than what you actually see on the videos because the camera's at, at this end. Yeah. So um, here we go. So lots of lots of texture and um, uh, bits and pieces of uh, different kinds of things for embellishing. And um, this is what I've added. So there is a double pocket here on the front two envelopes. So I've made a pocket on the there and a there um, for notes that I may want to add as I go. Um, so we, yeah, so like I say, there's lots more gold now, and I've also added um, the moths and um, some fairies that were kind of in tune with the color on the original pages. So the um, textured pages that are going to be on the right-hand side are the originals um, that I made um, just to put the colors together to see how they are all playing. And um, these pages and these pages. So page, basically your pages on the left are that what I added to um, this little booklet. So it is made up of, I believe there's actually eight color um, pages uh, different color pages as I explored the different harmony color harmonies and um, around each of and those are built on a harder card very quite thick cardstock um, and then they are um, surrounded on um, wrapped um, with a piece of coffee tea stained paper coffee stained paper that is also a bit thicker than your just your regular print paper a bit thicker so um it all stands together well so anyway there we go so there's your first page and this is um with whites and uh light blues creams there's the uh, yellows and um, I mean, um, if you want to, um, to see what I used in textures, go back and check the other video. Um, it's called Color Harmonies, Structural Style, version one. 
so here I just like I said it's been it's been um, hit with gold it's had the Midas touch and for those I use um, these beautiful sorry I went away for a minute there <laughs> these are the um, the watercolor paint set that I used um, and there's the, there's the golds and the all kinds of beautiful colors that just and these are great set I don't think I paid too much for them but um, check out um, Amazon so any of those um, have what has uh, added so much to the color of these pages so in my way in thinking of what color I wanted to add is I went back through the book and looked at all the pages that were in here and to find sort of a common thread and um, it was this this material here and it's a goldy brown so I thought the gold would just bring it all together so there's always papers <clears throat> excuse me paper left on this one side if you're making notes and this is the back of the card so there's um, our greens And there is our our orangey golds. And uh, card writing space. This is the blue. And all these um, pictures here I just got off the internet. Uh, but look at the the colors aren't they just gorgeous so when i was um ink dyeing um of course with um my tim holtz dyes ink dyes um i got these effects i think they're just beautiful and uh um there's the purple And there's your the pink and red tones. I guess it's called red. There's a little red red, but it's kind of more uh, hmm. I don't know what color that it's a tone of red anyway. And uh And there's the last page, which was some um, browns, basically, that color. And um, this is a little um, couple of pages of notes that I wrote in the back here from a color theory course that I took after I created the original book. And so I thought I would add this into this little book um, so it had a bit more of a function so I knew what the function would be basically and um, it would be about colors and uh, color harmonies and um, how they all come together so this one's about neutral colors um, neutral colors are a great selection to mix with cool or warm palettes they're great for backgrounds and designs and tend to be and tend to tone down the use of the other bolder colors black is added to create a darker shade while white is added to create a lighter tint shade and tint so oh so much to learn when you come to all of that but uh, anyway so at the back um this is a, one of the double envelopes so i just um glued the two together and i have a little booklet in here about the color theory color wheel uh, color harmony Um, and all of the different anagolas and monochrome, etc., complementary, and color concepts from hues, tints, tones, shades, and uh, color map of emotions. Don't forget, sometimes tones or shades of certain color can create different emotions as well. So they're showing 
something can be calm, uh, harmony, and royalty. Hmm. So anyway, color theory. A set of principles used to create harmonious color combinations pleasing to the eye and sense. So there you go. So that just fits in, in there. That's my logo, uh, White Ravens. And uh, this little book that just folds in there. And now this is very sturdy. This is constructed, like I said, of two envelopes. And they're the pretty hefty duty ones already. And there's the back of the book. So there it looks. So I will just flip through without talking too much and um, show you again the color pages mostly. Blues. and it's almost like um, when you do a junk journal it's it seems like it's never finished it feels like there's always more that could be added but um, I'm happy with this now look at those colors the little information again on the back about the, the colors neutral colors warm colors cool colors and the little booklet in the back envelope and uh, there's a very colorful page um, I thought it was kind of nice because it's on a nice neutral background and these colors just live with promise love with passion laugh with pleasure isn't that nice so anyway, there it is, and um, it's an oldie but goodie, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a fatty. A lot of time I don't put that kind, that much, you know, texture and depth into the pages because, especially if it's something you're going to write in, it makes it uh, just too lumpy and, and bumpy, but... There it is, and uh, the tie is, comes around and goes vertically rather than around horizontally, um, as I do in most of the books. But anyway, there it is. I hope you like it, and um, if, if you comment, I would appreciate that. And if you like what I do, hit the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll receive notification when I upload more videos. Um, take care of yourselves, and... Um, uh, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.